And what a position for England's captain to come into bat. That's how many England are still behind. Lawson from the pavilion end. Dear, dear, dear. That uh, worries me a little. Well, it's a slack sort of thing to do. I mean, the ball's well wide of the leg stump, started to play it, and then went through with the bat with one hand and could just have caught up with it and got a little edge, and that really would have been a silly way to get out. Terry Alderman, who took his 100th test wicket when he had Graham Gooch LBW. Strike played on the up, square of the ball. There's the captain. Still a happy man, but would like an early wicket. Jeff Marsh thought he'd got that. In fact, Gow was prepared to walk, and Marsh indicated no. And this uh, pretty sharp chance, hit right in the middle of the bat, but uh, Marsh is a brilliant gully, and he very, very nearly hung on to that. The ball going up in the air after he'd parried it away, bouncing out, and as he fell, he turned his hand over ball went to grass and he was the only one who knew that four runs and Gower certainly not prepared to forego his normal game if a half hole is there then the bat goes after it fine shot and this shot bringing up the 50 partnership Noticeable that David Gower's moving his feet a little bit more today. That foot getting quite well down the pitch. It goes to Gower and uh, slow full toss and Gower dispatches that beautifully through extra cover. That's his second 50 in the match and Prior to this match, David Gower had only got one score of over 50, and that was the first match of the season when he made over 200, so he's had a pretty lean time up to this test match. And Curran, Michael Parkinson, Mary Parkinson as well, golfing fame. Oh, good shot. Left everyone standing, bowler included. Beautifully timed stroke this by David Gower. Jeff Lawson to bowl. There's the 150 for England. And that'll be four runs. Ball just running away down the slope. Oh. Looked like a chance. Tell, and you can see the way David Gow drops his shoulder, little outside edge, and so we can probably see from this as to whether it was a chance or not. Bisected them perfectly. And that's gone straight through the man that slipped. Steve Waugh. It was travelling, I can tell you, but it was uh, catchable. 200 up. Well, you flash, flash hard. And he certainly flashed at that. 
nearly took Steve Waugh's head off. And the 200 comes up. And we have a change in the attack. Terry Alderman at long last being rested and being replaced by Alan Border. Australian captain who had one very good test match against the West Indies. Interesting time too from to come on, Tom, because it's captain to captain and Gowers in the 90s, 91 not out. And there we go, big shout. Oh. But there's nothing like the eyeball to eyeball confrontation of captains. Beautiful shot. Gowers on 99. What a story. What a story to think that David Gower, so chastised by the media of the weekend, is now the man who's saving England. The long hop outside the off stump. David Gower standing up straight and cracking that square on the offside. He goes. And that's it. Oh, marvellous. What a story. David Gower rolls back all the venom of the press and of the media. And here's the man who was chastised by everybody is now the man who's helping to save England. And 20,000 people standing. Tremendous ovation. Just getting gone today. LBW playing no stroke to Alderman. And since then, this partnership worth 139. And priceless runs for England. Not just the runs, but the manner in which they've been scored, because it's put that man border, well, not on the defensive yet, but the Gower 100 has certainly given England some sort of chance of making something out of the match. Oh, and that's out, and there it is, Hughes getting the wicket. And Gower's marvellous innings comes to an end with another hostile delivery from Hughes, which gets the catch at short leg. And that's Gower out for 106. And now England 223 for five. Well, Hughes has certainly got them all from problems. And David Gower there taking his head off, not looking at the ball, looking away from it. The ball only bounced about chest high. And you've got to really be able to play those down. But still a very, very fine innings by David Gower. Getting a tremendous reception from this full house crowd at Lord. 